welcome back to my tutorial for today how you are doing today we're looking at something very new and unique so i'll be illustrating on how to cut or gather current a cup a cap sleeve so this is a three yards of fabric folded into four folded into two and into two into four it's folded into four so firstly you minus your half length from your full gown length measurement and the gown length i'm working with is 41 inches and my half length is 16 inches. By the time you minus 41 from 16, you will get 25 inches. So I'll just mark 25 inches, which will be for the gathered part. That's the gathered area. 25 inches. So add 2 inches extra for seam allowance, making it 27 inches. So I'll just cut that out. So this is the lower part of my dress. You see, like I said, it's three yards, so it's very lengthy, which is enough for the lower part of the dress, the gather area. So we'll go ahead and cut the upper part of the dress now. So the half length I'm working with is 16 inches. So I'll fold my fabric into two. So... 16 inches plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. So I'm having total of 17 and a half, 17.5. So this is a princess posture. The upper part is a princess posture. Firstly, we'll take our shoulder measurement, which is 16 inches, divided by 2 will give me 8 inches. Which will give me eight inches. Then I'll mark my breast point measurement. The breast point measurement twelve inches. I'll add half inch extra, making it twelve point five. Under bust measurement fifteen point five. Then my waistline seventeen inches. So I'll just draw the lines out. So I'll just trim off the excesses I'm having here. So we are cutting the center front first, and this is just what I'll be needing for the center front. So on my breast point line, I'll mark for my bust to bust measurement, which is eight and half. Eight and half, that's four point two five. So I'll be adding 0 0.25 extra seam allowance. I'll be using 4.5. I'll take same measurement on my underboss and also on my half length, 4.5. So from my shoulder line, I'll come down by 4 inches. Then I'll come up here from my breast point. I'll measure the distance between my underboss and my breast point which is three inches so i'll come up by three inches from my away from my breast point i'll also rule that line out so on that line i'll still take the 4.5 measurements that's my bust to bust measurement then i'll connect from the four inches we came down with down to this line so i'll connect this with a straight line Okay, then I'll connect from this point to meet with this point. That's my upper chest line. So this is my upper chest line, my breast point line, and my under bust line. The rest is the waist line. So this is it. You take the distance between your bust to bust measurements and you take it down on your under bust, your chest line, and also on your waist line. So I'll just cut this out. So on this neck area, I'll mark for my shoulder slope three inches, and I'll come down by one inch, here, half inch here. I'll connect. So this is it. So 
for the neckline, I just marked four inches. I took four inches with uh, five inches depth and I connected the line I cut out. Sorry for cutting before showing you guys. So for the side area, I'll place the front against this is I folded this fabric into two again. I've done this video several times so you can still check my videos to see it if I'm too fast with this one. Fold your fabric into two. You want to cut the side area now. Then I'll place like this, leaving out about three inches behind. Then I'll place the center front on it like this. And this is too wide. Then I'll trace out my center front. I'll just trace it out. Okay, mind you, we have to notch our breast point, our underboss, and our chest line. So I'll just draw out the lines from where I notched my chest line measurement, my underboss measurement. My first point and my under boss just draw the line from the notched area. Okay, so you can see I'm having three lines here. So this is my chest line, my first point line, and my other boss line. So I'll just trim off the excesses I'm having in order to make it equal with the center front. Okay, so I'll place my tape from this center front along the breast point line, that's the middle line, and take my bust measurement. So the bust measurement is 41 inches, divided by 4 will give me 10.25 plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. While on the waist measurement is, the waist measurement I'm working with is 37 inches. Divide by 4 will give me 9.25. 9.25 plus 2 inches seam allowance. On the bust area, we don't need much allowance because of the botching of the breast. is already creating enough room for the for allowance. So we don't need much allowance on the bust area. Then from this shoulder line, so from my shoulder to my, from the shoulder line, from the center front, I'll take my shoulder measurement, which is 16 inches, divide by 4, will give me 8 inches, divide by 2, sorry, will give me 8 inches, so I'll just roll that out, then I'll connect in this with a straight ruler to meet with that line, that's from my center front line, just connect like this. So this is my ample area. So I'll just come in here by one inch. Just come in here by one inch. Then I'll connect the lines together like this. So since this is the front part, the front is actually the ample area. You have to like dip it in a little with quarter inches. That's 0 0.25. Quarter of half inches, then you connect. Next to me, top to do ample here. So I'll just cut this out. Okay, I just cut out my ample. I also cut the side area. I'll open this up. So what I'll be doing now is I'll take off this my center front. So on the breast point line, which is the middle line, I will create my breast bulge. So I'll just come out here by 2 inches. Then I'll connect it to the under boss like this. Just create it with a curve like a C. So you want to the under boss. Then from this area we shift, 
or just use half inch to like trace it to meet the breast bulge. So this is what we'll be having. You just trace it to meet the breast bulge. So this is my center front. So I'll just cut this out too. That's all about my center front. You can see how it's looking. Since it's on fold, you have to make your material on fold. This is one side, and this is another side. So we'll go ahead now and cut the back part of the dress. For the back part, I just folded my fabric into two. So I'll mark two inches for my zipper allowance, or 1.5 inches for my zipper allowance. Just mark 1.5 inches downward and I'll connect with my ruler. Okay. 1.5 inches. So this is my zipper allowance. From that point, I'll take my shoulder measurement, which is 8 inches. Come down by one inch for shoulder slope. Then I'll mark three inches along the neckline. All measurement starts from after your zipper allowance. So I'll just connect the lines together. Okay, so this is my shoulder slope. So for my Ample measurement, which is 16 inches, divide by 2, give me 8 inches. So I'll just connect that line as well. So this is for my ample. At this center point, I'll just go in by 1 inch. Then I'll get the midpoint of this, which is 4 inches. Connect from that four inches to the one inch, then to meet up with this other line. So, this is my armhole curve. So, from my shoulder line, I'll take my breast point measurement, which is 12 inches, under waist 15 inches, then half length 16 inches plus 1.5 inches for seam allowance, total of 17 inches. So, I'll trim off the excesses I'm having. From, away from my zipper allowance, I'll place my tape and take my bust measurement on my breast print line, which is 41 inches. Divide by 4 will give me 4.25 plus 2 inches seam allowance. From my waistline, I'll take my waist measurement, 37 inches. Divide by 4 will give me 9.25 plus 2 inches seam allowance. So I'll just connect this line together for my armhole. So I'll trim this off. I'll first of all open my zipper allowance. Shoulder slope. Just trim off my shoulder slope. So this is it. So it's, I'll just cut out my neckline now. So away from my zipper allowance, I'll mark four inches. So to use four inches for the front part, so use same thing. Then I'll come down by three point five inches. Then I'll connect the lines together. So I'll just trim this off. So that's that for the upper bodies. So I'll just cut the sleeve now, which is a cap sleeve. So for the cap sleeve, the sleeve length will be using is 7 inches to 
plus seam allowance. So I just mark my seven inches. Okay, so this is my sleeve length. Where for my sleeve, the upper cap measurements, the bust measurement divided by 12 plus half inches. So the bust I'm working with is 41 inches divided by 12 plus half inches, approximately 4 inches. So I mark 4 inches here and also root that out. So my upper cap measurements, I'll insert my round hole arm, my arm hole measurement, which is 16 inches, divided by 2 is 8 inches plus 8 inches, divided by 2 is 8 inches, my arm hole measurement, 8 inches, you take your measurement at your upper cap line, plus 2 inches seam allowance, then I'll also use that 4 inches here. Then I'll connect my line. Just connect in a curvy way from this side like this to meet up to this line. So for the this side, I'll be trimming since it's a cap sleeve. I won't be using any exact measurement. I'll just connect my measurement from here. Mm -hmm. cap sleeve my cup sleeve so I'll just fold my fabric again into two and cut another sleeve like this since it's a cap sleeve we don't need the measurement of this area because it will be open this side will be kind of open so you don't need any measurement here so what I'll be doing next is to cut my lining for both the lower part and the princess that area which is the upper part and also for my sleeve after doing that, then we gather the lower part first before joining the upper area, the, the princess bossier area. That's the upper part of the cow. Okay, to do the gather now, you have to put your machine on gather here, which is the last part. Then you just gather it up like this, just like where I'm pushing it. And you sew. Keep on gathering it like that, just little by little, and you sew. You can see it's already forming my gather. So I'll just do it like this till the end. Okay, I just gathered it, and this is what it looks like. If it's too long, you can just print it up on the upper part of the dress. This gathered gown will be having a side pocket on the both side. So what I'll be doing now is, I just folded it into two. You can see the side is folded into two. So I'll split this up because of the pockets to be having an inner pocket. So I'm splitting it up, one for the front and one for the back. So this is the front. I'll split the lining up like this after gathering it. And this is the back. So I'll still fold the back into two because of the zip and split it again. You can choose to make yours a side zip so that you won't have to split this up. Or you open it up to like 10 inches. You just tear it down a little, like 10 inches, and you piece your zip. And if you find it difficult in doing that, you split it into two equal parts then you join using one or half inch then you fix your zip so whichever way is fine but i think i'll be splitting it up into two because of our beginners so just split it up again you ensure it's equal I'm trying to gather up my lining just like I did for the Ankara fabric, just same process, then I'll split it up like that. Okay, I've also turned my lining with my sleeve. This is the sleeve. 
this is the, these are the both sleeves. So this is the front part. I joined it together and I use padded the thick wadding on it. I have a video that explains on how to cut this wadding. So this is the front. This is the lining. I've joined it also for the front part. So I'll use this lining to turn the neckline. And this is my back. I just joined the two zipper allowance together. I'll still open it up after then insert my dart. The front, the back dart will be like 12 inches long. I'll just fold one side of the back like this and fix my dart, which is 12 inches long on the both side of the for the both side. So this is the back. So I'll do just that and show you the finishing part of this dress. Okay, I've attached the front to the lower part of one of the front together. So this is how it is. So I'll just bring my lining here and face it up. Um, so this is my front lining. So I'll just place it like this, upside down. No, I'll just place it like this and use the lining to turn the waistline. So I'll just use the lining to turn the waistline. Just place it like this and I'll match it straight to the end. You must have gathered your lining before doing this. So I'll do this for the boat back. So after turning it, this is how it will look like. So this is the front side. This is the right side of it. This is one side of the back. And this is the second side of the back. So you can see how it's looking. So I'll just turn my lining, use my lining to turn the front part. Then I'll insert my pocket along the side area. Pocket area looking very beautiful. And this is the end of this gather gun. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you and I love you all.